Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Etherlords 2. In the last episode, Connor has finally finished the second mission. We reached the Eye of Chaos, but Diamanda unfortunately was too quick for us. Interestingly enough, um, they th he thought that the Eye is gonna get... Um, Oh, what's the word? I keep forgetting this, the exact same words. Episode in, episode out. Uh, essentially, um, kind of related to sacrilege of sorts. But instead, no, it was fine. Nothing bad happened to the uh, to the KSI. It was perfectly fine. So, no blasphemy, sacrilege to the the ether of chaos was wasn't done. And instead, we got sent out back to our, um, the city of Undering Stones because we're getting invaded by everybody. As you can see, there's the Vital, we have Synthets, and most importantly, the Kinets. Uh, so we gotta do a lot of cleanup and uh, try to unite the tribes by uh, having a, a duel between the two leading, um, I guess, leading figures. Alvig and uh, Krogar? I forgot his name. But it's supposed to be a duel between um, their monsters. Anyway, so we have a Vital hero over here. Yeah, and that's why... That's why I did not look into the eye because otherwise it they would actually start breeding and you would have to fight more ticks than the two over here. And I do not want that. So since we got the our beautiful rat statue, this should be a bit easier. I hope. <laughs> I hope it will be easier. Uh, it might not be, who knows. But anyway, with ticks, as long as you kill the ones who beef up the power, we're fine. And I can certainly use this thing over here, by the way. That will be very useful. Oh, that too! They do not have great defenses or regeneration. That will be most beneficial to me. I'll get the weaker rat too, why not? And I'll get this guy over here, one of you, maybe. Actually, never mind. I'll get the weaker of you. I should be fine. <laughs> I should be fine with all of these things. Then... Ooh, that will be useful against ticks. It will uh, literally smack all of them at the same time, but it will also smack my rats. Uh, but we can deal with it, I'm more than confident. Um, hmm. Should I get a shaman? I do have that spell, maybe I'll be fine. And I might as well prepare a polymorph in, in case uh, he decides to overwhelm me. I can uh, sacrifice one of his sticks. For the greater good of all. Wait, I forgot uh, the the the. Oh no, I do have it. Okay, good. Now, afterwards, we're gonna be fighting her, Etrinda. Oh, she has fingers. Interesting. But we don't. We'll use rats as bait instead. Uh, sure, I can kill you already, but uh, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna wait till you start summoning. Your thingies. Now he start. Okay, he started summoning in bulk. Now it will be a great time to use this. And um, not enough. Not enough. But I can start. Okay, now I can do it. Okay, he decided to get the ether channels, but we are fine. And what I'm gonna do, I'm uh, 
gonna probably sacrifice him. Do they rest? No, they gain haste. Yeah, he's pretty weak if you have the rats. The statue, I mean. Without it, it might have been a little tougher, but with the statue, it's more than fine. There you go. Easy peasy. And I leveled up! Oh, and I'm gaining a new look! <laughs> what is it? Oh, I can get better luck! Yeah, sure, I wanna- I wanna get better luck. Why not? Yeah, so she has Fingus' vitality. Which means I can uh, regenerate and not die occasionally, or all the time. Uh, she might have it really beefed up though, so we'll see. Ты зря спешишь надменный воин. Там, где пустила корни жизнь, нет пути слугам хаоса. Okay. Well, thank you for giving me time to rearrange my army. Because I'll be fighting Finguses. They have a lot of tough health, so Earthquake's not gonna... They're not gonna cut out. The beams, though, should work. There's also Supernova. I can try that. That might be helpful. Oh. Oh, yeah, that might be helpful, actually. If my health ever reaches zero, that is. Uh, I don't need defensive units. I do and should get bats. I'll get a bat army over here. Uh, maybe I should get one of you so that at least this thing comes around from time to time. Mm, 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 mm. I can technically use this guy to really beef up my health using Polymorph, or to deal lots of damage. You know what? I might actually have to use that as a strategy as well. So I have two superior rats, two of those guys and bats. Is that a good enough strategy or not? We'll see. We'll try it anyway. Okay, you're coming over, uh, over your own accord. Oh, and we get cool music and right away sacrifice. That's great, lovely. I know you can't really see me, but I'm dancing. Let's get a bat. Okay, so she gets two fingers. They don't have any power, so I'll be fine. She has nothing set up yet. Ah, oh, well, she discards upon death. Okay, I, I've. My problem is that I misunderstood what the bad does. And I was like wondering, why, is, why isn't she discarding anything? But yeah, that's why. Now, this one will force me to draw spells, which isn't bad. Might get a little much with time. Okay, got my rat over here. And she decided to kill my bat. Hmm... Well, might be a good time to uh, target her. And my rat isn't dying so good. That's beautiful. Now, she did have a bunch of these. What I want to do, maybe start canceling them. That's primarily what's killing my bat. Oh, and I forgot this. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, maybe I should have kept the other spell. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Deal X damage. I can deal 8 damage. Oh, she brought it right back. 
Well, no matter, I'll be able to kill you faster than you can blink. Hmm. And also I can heal myself. Okay. Nothing for me to do yet. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, hmm, my mistake. <laughs> okay, my mistake. My mistake. Let's see. <laughs> okay, my first mistake, I should have these. I definitely need to have some way to kill her spells. You there, you're gonna come over here. I may need only one of those things. I need more of those for sure. Uh... I'll take two of those. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, the bats aren't going to be too helpful. So I might as well have a rat army. Uh, I might actually consider more... Okay, so I don't need a blue rat per se. I'll be fine without it. So I can actually make do with maybe this. Maybe even actually have the uh, two of those. And the orc... Now the orc is gonna be problematic. I'm gonna do this way. Not a lot of creatures, but they'll pop in here and there. Oh, my bad. I should have the, 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 the this, actually. It, over here instead. So that way I should get some a lot of my magic back. And the rats would be able to summon its brethren. Did she do anything yet? No. Okay, she has nothing for me to cancel as of yet. So I can start killing her off. Damn, my rat is very lively. Okay, she has one spell. Start canceling it. I have two now. Good. Oops. My bad. Okay, she has nothing yet. Okay. Damn, my specialization works all the time. Now, at least. Okay, he decided to kill my shaman. That works for me. Just fine. Okay, time to do some sacrifice. This time around, the rat might actually die. Oh, wait, no, never mind. No sacrifice is done. Well, I can cancel another one of those spells. Oh, my bad. Okay, cannot quite cancel it yet. Right. Okay. Oh. 
She healed herself. That's not good. Oh no! I get freaking. Hmm. Well, you know what? Time to. Uh, let me see. How much you cost? You cost one ether. How much strength can I beef up myself? Uh, well, definitely more than he can. Now I have a little bit better stuff. Oh no 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 no! Don't die! Ah! He died. I'm not. I'm not quick enough. I swear the fight against her was much easier before. Apparently, I don't remember anything. Might as well try a big earthquake. One of them is dead. Oh no! Oh no! I got an extra one and it disappeared off the face. No, don't die, don't die! Oh, fudge. Okay, I was so close. <laughs> I was so damn close. Fudge. <laughs> oh. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. You know what? Might be just better off like this. <laughs> uh. This is to draw the spells, this is to recycle spells. Okay, okay. We're doing this again. Yo, tough lady, come over here. I have some beautiful things to chat with you. Okay. Disappear of the face of Earth. She has no spells yet. Uh, I have only one. I can do six out of six. Might as well... Might as well try, why not? One of them died. Okay, this time around three died. Okay, whew. My god, this is so tough. How many did I have? I have two. How many she has? She should have a lot by now. Okay, we're gonna do some rituals. You got get rid of extra rats. She took quite a hit. Uh, keep canceling. Okay, my rat will come back. She has that thing over there. We'll cancel it. Okay, well that just works for me. Not, 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 not so much for you, lady. She has anything else? Oh yeah, she has one more. Better get rid of as many of them as possible. And might as well start discarding spells, why not? I want you to have absolutely nothing if possible. Okay. Attack with everyone, please. Oh. Finally, she might actually die. Methinks. Okay, I'll curse you. Oh, wait, my bad. I should have done the other way. Well, I might as well do it this way. I still get my magic spells and everything. Uh, she has nothing yet. All right. I mean, 
already dead. Oh, she has enough. Enough so that they die on my end. I can just use this. <sighs> Yay! We defeated her. It's been 36 minutes, guys. <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah, I might actually have to cut a lot of parts. Благодарю тебя, Коннор. Теперь я могу подготовить нашего дракона к поединку. You're welcome, you're welcome. But, oh boy, that took a long time. That certainly took a long time. 36 minutes just to defeat her. Oh my god. For some reason, last time I defeated her, it was much easier. I wonder why. <laughs> and I played on hard difficulty. Maybe I came to defeat her a little later. That might be it, actually. <laughs> Come to think of it. But we can go that way, but you know what? Let's go the long way around. <laughs> Might as well uh, change my specialization to this one. Okay, and so now that I defeated her, we can just freely walk around. No one is gonna disturb us in regards to the Vitals. Uh, since it's been 36 minutes, I'll have to extend this episode, and uh, I'm sorry if you'll see a little bit of a choppier cutting. Okay, so there's this guy's over here, so we should be not uh, far away from the synthets, judging by all of this beautiful structure. All oh, right, though, you guys. I'm actually good good and set up for you. <laughs> sort of. Uh, I might as well just get a bunch of these. I don't need earthquakes, they're flying creatures. Um, a bunch of rats. Hmm. Let's see. I do need a shaman. And this to cancel out any sacrifices. Okay, this, uh, this satisfies me. More enough. I meant more or less. My bad. I can't speak English today. <laughs> Must be because of that Vital lady. Yeah, the, the last time we fought this guy, it was when we played as Alien. Oh, he has a Velas. That's a new spell we've never seen before. It's a good one, if except he used it incorrectly. Remove all ether from target hero's ether pool. Deal damage to that hero equal to the amount of ether removed. Um, my mistake. I thought he might not have any ground units. Guess I was wrong. But he doesn't have a Vela specialization. He's more about invulnerability. Right now his wall is gonna die because he has no ether. But I should watch out for that ether thingy. It can come back uh, come back and bite me in the butt. Now eventually his thingy majiggy is gonna die. Yeah, see, he's gonna keep using it until I run out until I have enough ether to actually deal significant damage. Which to me is not all that great. Well, I had no dead rats yet. Oh, I should have used my other rat. I didn't realize that. Okay, he de decided to use his pirate thingy majiggy. Oh, and that too. He poisoned me. Hmm, fantastic. Well, too bad for you. I'm sending off my rats. I might be lucky and you'll die. But something tells me I might die earlier than you did. Yeah, I might die earlier than he. Yeah, he used that thing over there. However, he has a lot of dead, so actually, in fact, he'll be the one to die. <laughs> 24 damage, wow. 
I mean, I killed a lot of his creatures, so he died earlier than me, thank god. But next time, mm, yeah, make sure you have maybe one of the walls of blades, uh, sorry, walls of lava, so that you can spend your ether by casting a... by, by um, uh, what's the word? Increasing the power of this creature using its innate ability to waste ether. <laughs> oh my, the melancholy music is back. Well, the synth that's over there, it's clear, but there's more. This guy, the Abomination. Destructive Wipe. When using Mind Wipe spell, the hero has a chance not only to discard all spells from enemy hand, but also deal three damage for each discarded spell. That sounds very problematic for me. Uh, that means I'll have to <laughs> waste all my spells, probably. Uh, however, he cannot fly, so I can make an army of bats, I'm more than positive. Uh, he also likes Mind Wipe. So, I'll, I'll try to get a bunch of these guys. Oh, and one of you, of course. Uh, for Abominations, it's better to use these two. They're cheap to cast anyway, the Abominations, I mean. I'll need an ether boost. Might have one orc in my army. Let's see. I don't need this thing. Though I should get a means of healing myself. In case I die or something. Uh, we're, I'm not gonna use offering to a fire or that thing over there. Might as well beef up my creature strength. And let me think. Let me think. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'll just maybe keep beefing up my thing. Or actually, I, I might as well weaken somebody so that they don't attack me for as much health, perhaps. Nah, never mind. I'll just use these two. That's good enough. Actually, I might need just one of those. Let's get a let's get a let's get a third one. There you go, that's fantastic. That should guarantee that I'll waste most of my spells. And he used broken reality too. Okay, more bats. Uh, he's summoning uh, pretty good abominations, so there there are much better ones out there. Okay. I'm gonna defend against you. He has one. He has one ether, so he'll be able to regenerate this one. Unfortunately for me. Uh, fortunately for me, however, uh, begun. I'll be- I should be able to uh, attack him- Oh, well. I should be able to finish him quicker. Now I don't have any ether, so... Yeah. I'll be fine. My shaman will be fine, too. Okay. Bad one, bad two, and we'll level up your strength so that I don't have any ether for him to use. Okay, he hasn't casted anything. And he's just going forward. He's not really doing all that much yet. I don't see his mind wipe spell working as such. And he'll be dead. Okay, that worked that much uh, very easily. <laughs> so good for me. I had the advantage. Alrighty, so okay, so there's the exit out of the conquered chaos bill. Oh wow, and there's uh, iron mechos over there. 
Oh, the big one. But now let's go back and kill the synthets. <laughs> Since I'm here anyway. Goodbye, beautiful music, and uh, hello. Oh, I see over there. Gamma 700B Retributive. Spell translocation. The hero has a chance to draw one more spell from the spell book each time he casts any spell. Sounds very useful. Wish I would have had that, <laughs> but I don't. So here we are. I don't really know what she might cast. So I might as well have a variety of creatures over here. Uh, some rats, some walls. Uh, I think I'm... I, I assume she might have more ground creatures, so maybe an earthquake. And one of those. Uh, that seems about adequate enough. Let's go. Oh, wait, now that- okay, he- Connor is not saying anything, which is interesting, but uh, I meant uh, also to put this thing back. I almost forgot about it. Uh, offering to far is what I have right now, and that uh, uh, suits me fine. If I have the bat to bite her, uh, that should be more than enough. Okay. Oh, you already used it. Why? That's such a waste. She she keeps sucking up my health. Interesting. Well, might as well attack you while I can with just one measly orc. Punching it with a wooden staff and a skull. Oh, so you're a gas user. Well, time for me to start losing lots of ether, isn't it? I guess she doesn't have any creatures on her on her side whatsoever. I guess you did not expect me to have uh, uh, my, my orc shaman to cancel magic. Okay, what did you use? Destroy one of the enemy's e hero ether channels. Well, I did not have much to begin with. Uh, my orc has been cancelling so many of them, you would not even believe it. Let's go, guys. Draw a spell, take a bite. I mean, there's nothing to bite, she's mostly metal. Like, 50-50 metal and uh, flesh. So, like, what is there to even to bite? <laughs> Cancel her gas again. Oh no, what did I do? Apparently I was being a doofus. Wow, she really went all out with this one. Well, no matter, she might die. Yeah, she, she almost dead. And she discarded lots of spells. Well, 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 isn't that interesting? Well, uh, sorry to say this, lady. Goodbye. Hasta la vista. Very nice meeting you. Your strategy would have worked if you did not waste those two spells in the beginning. Because they're the best when you have enough ether to, uh, to spend, to, to draw health. Because that's how you should be using it. <laughs> at the, at the, uh, mostly at the ends when you have a lot more ether on your hand. Like, boost your ether channels by a lot and then use that spell. And surely you'll be able to uh, use it effectively and kill your opponent before he can kill you with his own creatures. Alright, so this looks like a very big camp of synthets. Oh, look at that. I'm hearing something too. Uh, Theta 100D Malevolent. He has Cutter's Restlessness. Any Cutter under the hero's control has a chance not to rest after attack. Okay, I don't like you, Theta. The fact that you have Cutters too. My least favorite creatures on Earth. But they are uh, very spongy. They die easily. So I might benefit from Sacrilege, actually. Earthquake too. 
They're cheap to cast, so this thing is about the same as that. Actually, this thing is cheaper. Because he might have higher level cutters. Because he has higher level cutters, I'll benefit from having this guy around. From having destruction magic. And rats. Mostly rats. Because they have the discard spell ability. Which will work out for me. Okay, that looks satisfactory enough. Let's go. Вот и синтет захватчик, а за его спиной магическое здание, о котором говорил Атри. Слушай речи воина, отродье чумной крысы. Сейчас ты заплатишь за разрушенный поселок. Interesting, they didn't translate it at all, but he said, here's that magic building behind him that Atri told me about. I forget who that is, though, unless he's talking about... Unless we had that conversation before. One sec. He's like, ah, you're the one who's going to regret your crazy words, barbarian. Yeah, that's what he said. You're the one. Uh, but that's... Oh, that's Atri! Oh, he's the one who told us. Um, I think, maybe. Um... Okay, he said that. Yeah, he did tell us that. Why didn't they translate it into English? That's be... I have no idea. Okay, so Atri did told us about... Apparently this thing, which is a lighting generator, like the one we've seen on the first map, which is great. But why didn't they told us about it? In the, tr in the English translation, that's so weird. Anyway, let's attack this guy. Let's hope we're gonna survive and not die. <laughs> ah, so you're a Velos user. I should have known. Me should have known. Of course you're gonna boost up your rat over there. Sorry, this is like the synthet version of the rat in my, uh, in my opinion. Except they're very, uh, you know, Oh! I know what I should have used and die for God! I should have used the burning graves and he would have died of his own accord because he uses Velos. Oh. Oh, he has that guy. Well, fantastic good for you, I guess. Let's get this guy. Here he's the uh, first cutter and he's the last cutter. Okay, now I can start sacrificing my rat uh, next turn, that is. Oh! Well, that's not good. He'll be able to. Oh, wait, no, that's. Uh... Sacrifice a creature you control, return target creature from your graveyard. Oh, okay, no, never mind. That's a good thing. Uh. But I should be probably burning his creatures in his graveyard, come to think of it. So that he cannot get anyone else back. So now, he has only one cutter. Okay, here's how you do it. You do it this way. <laughs> and then, uh, we're gonna cancel out more creatures. I forgot he had Velus in the graveyard. Oh, he still has the Cutter Man. He's probably bringing back the Cutter Man. He has two of them. Oh! Well, you're now gonna have only one. And we're gonna cancel out everyone you have in there. Well, that's what I have the thing here for. He's a trampler, but you know what? Good enough. Uh, and we're gonna use for ether. Wait it out. Okay. How much he has? Two. Okay, I can just cancel it twice. Not all eleven times. <laughs> That's a little too much. Now he has nobody. We get to summon a rat. We get to bring all these rats back. <laughs> oh, 
apparently my magic is uh, gone or... Oh, yeah, it's gone. Interesting. So he uh, got rid of my spells too. Now he has no one to summon. Uh, let me uh, get my creatures. Oh, you uh, stand around over there. They might kill you. Gosh, this guy is like practically mostly metal. And you know what? Let me uh, kill this guy for health. Okay, so he's hitting this guy. You're hitting him, discarding. He might not have any magic at this point. So he cannot cast anything because of my rats. So, it's a, so it, you know what? I didn't consider the strategy of summoning an, a lot of low-level rats just so that he discards all of his magic spells. You know, I should have considered that, actually. Uh, sorry, sir, but this is not gonna help you at all. You're kind of uh, dead. <laughs> and you realize that, too. <laughs> No reason to struggle, my friend. Okay, so we performed perfectly. So yeah, so my strategy did work out, just not in the way I uh, thought it might. Much better chance for here specialization to work. You know what? Yeah, I want a better specialization working. Why not? It will make my life easier in some instances. Okay, so there's some stuff to pick up everywhere in here. Now let's get our lighting. It's the same deal as before. Zap each second combat turn and call lightning. Zap is uh, one damage, call lightning is um, three damage, I think. There's so much stuff to pick up. God, that's awesome, actually. <laughs> More resources for me. Anyway, so we could go over here across the bridge oh and uh wait one moment oh that's where i came from i think yeah that's where i came from never mind <laughs> okay now we have a bridge over here and a mechos uh mechos 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 I don't like mechos. They'll kill off all my creatures, pretty much. So I should consider having some stuff to help me out. They do have, um, I mean, I don't know, really. I don't know, I have to think about it. This guy is also a disenchanter, which might be neat. Uh, hmm. Hmm, I'm thinking. What kind of strategy would be great? I mean, I could put him instead of the shaman. That way I won't be sacrificing my ether channels. And I can put up some low level rats to overwhelm the mechos. You know what? We can try that for sure. And I'll have this thing for healing myself just in case. Mm -mm -mm. I don't need Supernova. That's a little much. I'll have Earthquake instead. Okay, that works for me. Okay, low level rat. Here you go. Attack. <laughs> he discards immediately. Oh, I forgot I have uh, these things pop in. Oops, my bad. Here, take a little lightning for your trouble. Oh, you have a weak, uh, a weak worm over there. Might as well just kill you. You're kind of problematic. I forgot to check your specialization, actually. Oh, iron skin worked. So I guess you did not discard anything because of your iron skin. 
Oh, brilliant. Okay. Discard and iron skin. Well, that's why I kept this thing around. Uh, how much you cost six ether? Oh, well, look at that. I can actually zap you uh, this way. You can keep your measly warm. I don't really care about it. And also, uh, I can know what? Here. Uh, my rat dies, but that's not so bad. I got the better rat instead. Yeah, it's not so bad. Oh, I should get rid of that thing, actually. Come to think of it. Interesting, I can use this during uh, the block phase, which it doesn't say anything about it in the spell uh, description. Hmm. Oh, you don't attack with the rats! Oh! Well, that's interesting. I thought you might, because they're kind of like the team leaders. Oh, I guess I was wrong. I guess you need a shaman or something like that to attack. Oh. I guess I goofed a little. Iron skin. Well, I got the iron skin now. I should get rid of you in this case. Goodbye. Here, here, here to the orc shaman instead. The ultimate, uh, the ultimate creature. Okay, so you got here through the teleporter. I can even test it out. Да этому дракону нет равных ни на востоке, ни на западе. Вряд ли станет Крогерт во главе хаотского войска. Wow, yeah, you might be right. <laughs> he looks... Oof, he looks uh, menacing. Well, not menacing, but he looks like he can qu put quite a punch. Anyway, uh, let's check the teleporter just in case. It should be the one... Yeah, it's the one at the Vital side with the, with the dead ticks and everything. You know, it's good. It's a good idea just to check where it leads and stuff, and that we made a kind of a long path circle of sorts. Uh, I'll talk to the guy, but oh, I do need maybe to recharge my artifact. Give me a moment. Let me excavate. Okay, so there's another bridge with no one guarding it. There's a teleporter. Uh, I might have to check wh where it leads. Uh, let's see. I recharged. Uh, okay, so do you want to chat? Где же теперь моя сестра? Oh, she's um. Okay, she's he's just asking about his sister. Well, his sister is back at the camp. I guess I should tell her at some point. <laughs> uh, let me see where this thing leads. Let's see, let's see. Well, there's a Cyclops. Although he does look menacing too, but I feel like the dragon is a much of a better opponent. And I cannot go there, and this thing is locked by the East Chaos Seal. Okay, so I gotta go the long way, I guess. Across the bridge! Alright, Connor, to the bridge! We're gonna... Reach them on the other side. Maybe clean up a little more. I say clean up, but you know, they are impeding upon the people who live here, so... Free casting, cleric spirit. I guess we found our first skinnet. And we're gonna fight a, a cleric with free casting. Okay, that's not so bad, I guess. He's still uh, spending his magic spells, so that works for me. <laughs> Okay. 
they do like regeneration though. I might be better off with those. Um, and just in case, I might as well maybe use this thing when possible. And I might set up maybe this as a defensive unit. Actually... I guess this might work. Should work. Alright, so you have 30, I have something. All creatures with flying ab- well, that's- I don't care about that. Hey! Don't be rude! Oi! My shaman is a good guy! I'm losing lots of magic spells, though, I'll be honest with you. Whoa, whoa, don't attack! Oh, good thing for me, his recovery yes. is, uh, sucks. Oh, I forgot about him, though. My bad. I should wait till my lightning comes back. Oh, boy. Okay, I got rid of all of them. Which is not enough, apparently. Hmm. I'll need my rat for this. Oh, I uh, didn't realize you had that. My bad. Ah. Uh, I should start getting rid of his creatures from... Uh, uh, what's... Wh what you call it? Uh, you know what I mean. I got lost in all these stuff. Here, cast this. Okay, I can't really do anything. Okay, who do you have in your graveyard? You have one of those guys. You can only do warrior spirits? Yeah, you only do warrior spirits. That's fine by me. Okay, let me first of all get this guy. And we are going to start getting rid of his dead. Okay, I'm just going to go for this guy. Oh boy, well he has that thing over there. Mm. I don't want to get rid of this guy more. It's way more problematic. Oh, I forgot he had the reflection. My bad, my bad. Well, guess what? You have this thing now. How many in the, in the graveyard you have two? I might as well get rid of you. I can't. Oh, well. Attack, everybody! Okay, now you can start getting rid of graveyard creatures. Okay, no one to get from there. Okay, there you go. Hit him with your stick. Take a bite of... what can you even bite? He's like a floating ghost. <laughs> uh huh, interesting. Well, I guess he wanted to buy, take a bite out of ether energy that makes him alive. <laughs> I don't know, I'm theorizing. He's a spirit after all. And there you go. 
done. We took him down, guys. Let's see. Ooh, Ash Storm. Sorry, Ash Storm. I'm kind of, I kind of mumbled that, my god. All creatures cannot attack until end of turn. Uh, hmm. That will be a good life-saving spell, kind of like the Kinnet's version of the fog. <laughs> Except uh, I think you can cast the fog during combat, uh, sorry, during a defense phase. Also, we have a little tunnel over there. Сначала мне надо помирить восток и запад. Ah, okay, I see, I see. Reconcile the east and the west. Okay, I guess I'll be coming back afterwards instead. Oh, I missed that side actually, one moment. There's so many directions to take, it's crazy. And the map is pretty big too. Oh, never mind, not so many directions. I just missed this, I just missed that corner with the resources. My bad. Okay, so I can go this way, I can go that way. I believe this one should be a dead end. I think. Yeah, this is a dead end. It leads to the... probably the eastern castle. Methinks. Oh. Hold on. Okay, I'm free to go. Now the shaman we're not gonna like because he's gonna be able to get up any warrior spirits. Uh, but thank god he's not the one who looks like death itself. Because the death one is is the one who makes them fly. <laughs> well, my rat is... Oh. Hmm, I should have known. Oh, well, there's the first... Uh, thingy majigi but i can kill you actually you know what that works for me okay so he summons another one uh regeneration wise they are a bit better than the uh warrior spirits Okay, he got the warrior spirit. Uh, wait, don't you do the get up? Yeah, get up all warrior spirits. You could have done that instead. Although, I guess he was afraid I might kill his warrior spirit. Oh, interesting. I'm the one who first attacks. Oh, right, first strike. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot all about first strike uh, privileges. Interesting, he's resting. Oh, right, he just got back to the combat. Oh, and I forgot to check his specialization, actually. He has spell translocation. That's a new one, I think. Uh, the hero has a chance to draw one more spell from the spell book each time he casts any spell. That's actually pretty useful. All right. I'm gonna go with these guys. Yeah, I get it, I cannot block you yet, but... I can finally get rid of that. Oh, and uh, you can disappear later on, which will work for me. He has a six-pack over there, actually. I just noticed. <laughs> it's kind of it's amusing, actually. Okay, disappear one, disappear two, and all we are good to go. He discarded a lot of spells. There you go, he'll be dead in no time. <laughs> Yay! One more down for the team. How, how much did the Kinets lose right now? Probably a lot. Probably a lot at this point. They cannot win this war because Connor is here. 
They didn't know that such a warrior existed, but he does. <laughs> oh, well, fantastic! It's back to Lamia. Uh, a Lamia monk. She has Lamia's thievery, which means she gets to remove one spell from my hand if she gets to strike me at all. Doesn't sound great. Uh, huh. I should consider killing her off generally. Especially using... I do have a lot of chaos spells though, now come to think of it. So I should be fine with this army of rats. I think. I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? I'm not really sure. Maybe I should uh, beef up my ether just in case. And get a, a bit of a better wall of lava over here. Now they don't have a, gener a regeneration, so you know what? I can get, excuse me, uh, another one over here. Another for the team. Okay, so she discarded one already. It's her discussion versus mine, which is amusing. Okay, take another hit for the team, lady. What did you do? If the caster's opponent has a greater number of ether channels, the caster gains three ether channels. Oh! Oh, that's not good at all. Well, I'll make sure you keep discarding all of your spells. Because you know what? I'm just as good as your Lummy eyes. Oh, her chain disappeared. <laughs> there it is. Okay, she got the first Lummy over there. Uh, interesting. I can actually kill you the more traditional Lightning Man way. And there's another one. Congratulations, lady, you took uh, quite a lot of damage over there. And we're gonna attack. Okay, she has nothing. I just made her lose all her uh, spells and she wasn't even able to do anything. Like, if you ever get to the red statue, it's pretty powerful. Along with the lightning one. Oh, but that, that's nothing. That's nothing at all. She thinks it might do something for me, but it does not. In fact, you're most likely to die from lightning. <laughs> and she's done. So yeah, once you get to all of these great things, it's easy. Technically, you can uh, kill the Vitals perhaps by first fetching the lighting statue. Which will keep you uh, feeding with a lot of lighting spells. But on the other hand, her fingers do recover a lot. So unless you stack up with anti-regeneration spells, you're gonna, be in a, you're gonna be in a tough position. I'm sorry to say. Anyway, let's see. Thrifty casting. We know that one pretty well. Uh, just to verify, thrifty casting is... The hero has a chance to cast a spell without expending its charge. And uh, I already have a lot of charges, so that specialization is uh, not so good for me. Okay, a shadow wolf. Well, uh, that'll be a better and easier battle because we have lots of lightning. So I should even be able to use a lot of rats to help out on my side of things. I could even use a kobold, but you know what? I, I'll keep getting lighting, lightning spells, so we'll be more than fine. At least I think we should be more than fine. And again, we're fighting in a tunnel, or actually it looks like a, a crypt more. Okay, he decided... Oh! I just discarded all my magic, somehow. Weird. 
Burn relief. Hero has a chance to avoid or reduce damage received from the ether burn. I don't have ether burn. That was so weird that my spells just disappeared. Unless he casted something, but I didn't see what it was. Well, he weakened my rat. I should sacrifice it next time. Yeah, that, that was so weird. Ah, my specialization worked a little too well. There you go. My rat is back. Let's go, guys. Did he run out of wolves? Let's get this guy. Uh, might as well zap you once. Although, be careful, you can accidentally zap Connor. That wasn't much of a healing, was it? I'm not sure he made the best decision for this. Okay, there you go, he's dead. Now, I wonder, am I gonna get wolf spells at some point? <laughs> mm, I wonder when that's gonna be. Unless I have to buy it. I'll be honest, I don't remember. And we have a... Ooh, there's a powerful orc right over there. The Orc Elder. Discriminating lighting. Every creature under hero's control has a chance to increase its power and toughness by three points until end of turn instead of receiving three damage from the lighting storm spell. You love that spell? Well, I like it too, actually. Might as well put it up. It's this one, but... There's also Supernova. I might be... Hmm... Oh, I get to sacrifice an Aether Channel too for it. Interesting, interesting. Uh, he might summon that powerful dude over there, so... Might as well stack up on some of those. And stuff like that. Let me save. Okay, got that thing. Oh, well, I think I may have found uh, the other cat. <laughs> I'll come back to the orc guy. Приветствую тебя, доблестный воин. Кто ты и что привело тебя к нам в это смутное время? Я Конор ищу Крогерда, молотого стока, чтобы передать ему слова Альвейк, молнии Запада. There's two eagles flying at the same time. I wonder why. Судя по описанию, ты есть Норти. Погонщица бойцового монстра Крогерда. Твой брат Одмар передавал тебе привет. You... Your brother Odmar sends greetings. Okay. I thought she was a Cyclops, though. Um, manager. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Твои слова наполняют мое сердце радостью, Конор. Жаль, что мы с братом разделены армиями захватчиков, а наши вожди находятся в ссоре. В благодарность за весточку от брата прими эти заклинания. Thank you. Oh, you gave me a, an artifact. Enchanted creature gets cannot get up. Oh, that's a good one. The four ether and four life. Ooh. Well, well, well. And there's Krogert. Krogert. Let's talk to you. Приветствую тебя, могучий Крогерт, молот Востока. Я пришел, чтобы передать тебе слова Альвейк, молнии Запада. Так сказала она. Устроим поединок монстров, чей монстр победит, 
тот и поведет войска хаоса. Я охотно приму это предложение, посланник. Мой циклоп не знает равных в землях хаоса. Поистине не захотела хитро Альвейк сама склониться передо мной и поручила это своему дракону. Следы за нами, чтобы стать свидетелем моего торжества. Okay, so he opens the gates and they get, uh, they go to the teleporter. Well, I'm not gonna go there yet. In fact, I'll clean up a bit and then we we'll, might as well go back to Alveg and all that stuff. But first, I'm actually gonna have to end the episode over here. Thank you for watching. This was certainly quite a, quite a lot of, quite a lot of things happened. Uh, I'm fairly confident the next episode is when I might finish this map, I believe. We'll see, we'll see. But it was fun, apart from uh, figuring out how to defeat that Vital lady over in the beginning. Um, although she was, she was a bit of a challenge, but you know what, we did just fine. I just... It's just it took a while though to figure out the strategy and uh, get the um, get the spells uh, come up correctly in the beginning. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.